You know, I should probably put a voice over here for our sponsor. Nah, you can read. It's time. Hey, what's up, guys? I am here with Nate Orchard. Nate, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, man. I had a fucking great night tonight. Am you I really did, man. Yeah, you know, you're allowed to okay. cuss as much as you want, Sweet. man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you had a phenomenal night. You know, you're always one of our favorite people to come out here and watch and do this. Tell us what the appeal is this time around. You have experience coming to this tournament. You have experience doing well at this tournament. What does it feel like this time around, sir? Honestly, I don't know if I've ever had so much fun competing. And uh, that was like my goal going into this is just to love what I do, especially in the moments that seem like dark and, and terrible to be like, man, this is just dope. You know, we're, we're, we're playing a video game, you know, and and of course, the harder, the, the further the level, the tougher the boss. But but then, you know, the tougher the reward when you beat those, the better the reward when you beat those bosses. So that's what it was, man. I'm just playing a game and having fun. What was the preparation for this like? I mean, you know, I, I'm always ready to go I'm, I'm very consistent in what i do um one of the things i actually did though that was a little bit different from my conditioning was i <laughs> believe it or not did a lot of um kickboxing oh, really? a lot of kickboxing yeah. to get my cardio up my flexibility agility and speed and then uh, and and when i'm doing like when i'm hitting mitts that's basically what i was doing i'm not taking impact sure. from jujitsu sure. you can't roll f all out three times a day it's going to beat you down so uh, I, I would do some, some rounds on the mitts, and then I'd do some explosive lifts in between rounds, some hand clean or some deadlifts, and then go back to hitting the mitts. And uh, I mean, my conditioning time, I feel amazing. I don't even feel tired. Now, honestly, every time I saw you, you reset. You just looked like you were like ready to go for the first time. And uh, you had some battles today. Take me through your day today, sir. Um, my first match, Brandon Walensky, um, really tough guy, super strong, a judo black belt. Um, I won in overtime. Um, he just had super like great fundamental, beautiful, clean jujitsu, and I, I face crushed him in, in overtime. Um, and then uh, my second match, I hit an arm drag that I've been putting a lot of reps on. Um, usually, I'm able to get the choke right off the arm drag, but I had to work for it a little today. Yeah. But it's cool; it was fun. And then just an all-out war with Wagner Rocha, which I, I've been wanting a fight like that like whatever people can talk shit and say fucking jujitsu it's not a fight that was a fucking fight we we're both bleeding out of our mouths and <laughs> smashing each other's noses it was dope you know and i and it was like a battle that i just have wanted to have have for a while so i you were you were always that person you were you know i i said this online but you are a true martial artist you you practice all of the martial arts you have a respect for them um i hear stories of you needing time to get to 10th planet for all of their what is it, their, uh, their promotions, but you had to go sword fight before you got there? That's just the kind of person you are. I understand that. I see you showing up in traditional garb yeah. at there. And you know what the best part is? Not even phased. You're just like, this is a normal day for me. And I believe that. It, you know, it is. And, and you're right. I mean, I love martial arts. And, and believe it or not, I think that all the martial arts, you, you can learn. Look, I've added to my jujitsu from learning Shinkendo, that style of the samurai sword. Um, my, my, my kickboxing helps my, my jujitsu. Martial arts are martial arts. I'm not just a grappler. There's a oneness in martial arts, and I'm just trying to learn from them all. But jujitsu is what I'm most passionate about, and so I'm doing all these other martial arts just to add to my jujitsu. And it continues to grow. It continues to flourish. We're always so excited to see you out here. I mean, I in particular, when I see that you're coming out to L.A., I get excited. But I always know that you got that turnaround schedule where you got to compete, you got to head on out. We, we just kind of want to, you know, like, I can't really force you to stay here, but I kind of want to shackle you down to one of well, these you know doors. What? Look, I'll be back in three weeks. Maybe we can set something up. I'm doing Combat Jiu-Jitsu Worlds. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, you're doing that because they had this weird race that was existing between the 10th Planet crew. Right. So your reward is more Jiu-Jitsu, but with slaps? More torture. Uh, no, it's crazy. Yeah, no. Uh, whoever went further in the tournament tonight between me and PJ Barch, we got the... Uh, so I just secured my next spot in um, EBI 155 whenever that comes around again, and then and then Combat Jiu Jitsu Worlds in three weeks. So uh, time to do more work. Absolutely. Well, now we know all the that uh, Muay Thai practice is gonna probably start going in a little bit more slaps. Uh, are you gonna put like a photo of somebody, like maybe a Wagner photo on the like speed bag like and just Century Bob and just start slapping Century Bob around. Nate, uh, it's just a blast to see you, man. I guess I have uh, one last observation that I needed to put to you. You had this, like, you were channeling, like, animal-like instincts after your, your match. 
And I think you went out and you like embraced this like tongue out, almost like you were auditioning for Kiss. But more so, I don't know if you've seen our meme yet. Have you looked online yet for this? I, I saw a picture, but I haven't had time to look at it. Not really. a problem. I'll explain it to you. And that way, when you see it, you won't be as mad at us. <laughs> okay. But it basically is a comparison. You turned yourself into a velociraptor tonight. I'm not sure that you know it. But when you see it, I think you'll be able to appreciate the exact same kind of a... Hey, that, I, that's a great compliment. A velociraptor. That's some scary shit. If I can be of that, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at it. I was like... Uh, my photographer Octavio, who's uh, doing the camera work over here, he got a great photo of it. And I was just like, "Damn, Orchard's not actually like someone you call a beast. He's becoming a beast in front of us right now." I know we throw that term around a lot, but you, sir, uh, you exemplify that again. True martial artist. We want to say thank you so much. Can we take care of any of your sponsors real quick? Uh, I just want to thank Phalanx for everything they do for me. They've really helped um, grow grow me and my brand and that means a lot to me um Datsu Sara who uh sponsors EBI tonight they're incredible um I, I really love what they stand for um Game of Rolls they're a dope card game uh heard about them. okay they're they're an awesome company check out Game of Rolls it's just um a great creative way to do jujitsu with another look so um and and my team and and friends and family thank you all so much for the help and love and support I'm already looking forward to running into you again, sir. I'm going to go ahead and let you get on out of Thank here. Thank you very much, Take sir. a plane. Nathan Orchard, keep it locked here at VerbalTapCast.com for more information, you guys.